Good morning, it's Saturday the 13th of September 2014. A warm welcome along to today's United Kingdom talk. My name is Chris Reardon. Sporting, I'm sporting today a brand new t-shirt, boys and girls, a Barry Manilow t-shirt. I'm so happy this is the first one I've purchased through an email. I must admit it was on special offer, but... But for Barry, I wouldn't mind paying the full price. I just want to point that out. It just so happens that in my inbox dropped a special little email special offer from the Manilow people. Oh, and it mentioned T-shirts on special offer. So I've purchased a Barry Manilow T-shirt. I actually bought two. Where's the other one? I actually, and there, there is a reason I'm wearing this Manilow people. So stand by. Mind you, if you're a Manilow fan, you'll know this already, but I shall, uh, I shall make a very special announcement that those people that, that do not yet appreciate the wonders of the great Barry Manilow, I will be making a little announcement. So that's, this is the front of it, and on the back, here is one I prepared earlier, is, um, oh, hang on, I don't want, to, don't want that in front of the microphone, do you? you won't be able to read me. There he is, all his concerts that were in the UK this year. That's what's on the back. Now, the reason I bought two, actually, is one was for me, and you know what a kind heart, kind hearted, oh, kind, but oh, what a kind hearted old soul I am. One was for me, and one was for my friend, and he came round last week on Thursday. I think it was Thursday. He popped round for dinner. We, we go round to each other's houses for dinner two or three times a week sometimes. You know, he comes here and he cooks and I go there and he cooks, usually. But I, <laughs> I did it today. And I put the Barry Manilow T-shirt on the table in front of him. And I went out of the room. I came back and I spied round, you know, round the door. I spied round the door and he took no notice at all. Right. So I then came back in the room and, and purposely picked up the T-shirt and put it on another table in full view of him. Right. And then he picked he, he, uh, I went out of the room again and again, spider, no reaction at all. Then I picked up the. I went back in the room. I said, oh, you see that T-shirt? Could you just put that over there for us? And he still wasn't showing any. I said, do you know what that is? He said, I know what that is. I said, and and I, I didn't get a very good response. Excuse me. I've... Sleeves. Your sleeves. Oh, gosh. So, what happens? What happens in this blooming studio, which is in fact a converted spare bedroom, what happens in here that I have to sneeze at the beginning of every show? Have you noticed that? <laughs> Anyway, and he showed no, no, no interest at all in it. So it's still here. So I have two Barry Manilow T-shirts. Two Barry Manilow T-shirts. And I wear it today with great pride, boys and girls, for the great Barry Manilow. And the reason I'm... Oh, but we've got, got a couple of birthdays coming up. I'm going to do your emails early today, OK? And the reason is I um, had to listen back to a couple of my shows and I noticed that I keep running out of time to do the emails. Now, if you've got the time and effort to send stuff in, I want you to read them as quickly as possible. So I must apologise and I shall do those first in just a moment. But the reason I've got this Manilow t-shirt on is because the new Barry Manilow album, My Dream Duets, is now available, boys and girls, on Amazon. OK? Now... Don't say, you won't, oh, I don't want one of those. Why, why don't you want one? Just try it. Just bloody try it. It's like, you know, um, and again, I, I have to say, and I've, I've said this many times, there's a big difference between listening to an album and being at a Barry Manilow concert. You've got to go to a Manilow concert. You absolutely have to go to a Manilow concert. I've been seven times now, and believe me, that's, that's nothing compared to the Manilow girls. They've been hundreds and hundreds of times. You cannot... The, 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 the albums, the CDs, are fantastic. OK, they're fantastic. But you cannot compare listening to a CD and going to a Manilow concert. You will never experience anything like it anywhere else. You have to go. Even if, you know, maybe you can't afford to sit down the front somewhere. Even if you go at the back, doesn't matter. The atmosphere is ab absolute. And don't think you're going to be sitting down either. We are up and dancing. We are up and dancing. And bring some tissues for the ballads. 
Oh, what a, what a show, man. You've got to go to a Manolo concert at some point in your life. You know, whenever they come near you again, I don't know when he's coming here again, um, you, you must go. Anyway, so the new Manolo album is now available to pre-order on Amazon.co.uk. Have you got your one-click ordering set up? We love Amazon. One-click ordering. So uh, get that ordered. Lots of people have ordered already, the Manilow girls. Angela Warren has pre-ordered hers today. Well done, Angela. I should be ordering mine as soon as this programme has finished, boys and girls. Wendy pre-ordered from Amazon on the 9th of August. God, it just became available on the UK site sometime yesterday. So, um, Wendy's straight in there. Have you got yours yet, Wendy? Oh, it's, no, no, it's not out yet, is it? It's pre-order only. Um, uh, Julie says uh, she's put her order in. Julie. Joyce has ordered hers. Nicola has ordered hers. Mandy has ordered hers. Jane has ordered hers. And Louise has ordered hers. And I shall be ordering mine. Uh, and it's called My Dream Duets. And basically is doing duets with dead people. Boys and girls, you know... <laughs> Let's, let's not beat around the bush. He is doing duets with dead people. So, um, I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking for, really looking forward to that. You're probably wondering, oh, how can he do a duet with dead people? Well, what, I, 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 I'm assuming he's only just made the album. And what they can do is, 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 is take, um, bits of an, you know, when an album is made, say, say Barry's making an album, right? He doesn't sit there with a the whole orchestra. I don't think all the time, and they're all playing and all recorded in one microphone. Each thing, whether it's the singer, the drums, the piano, the piano, the trumpets, the violins, each th each each item will have its own microphone. So when Barry sings, they are only recording his voice. So on on that particular, I'm trying to explain this so that people who who, who aren't into this will understand. Okay, let, let, let's let's explain it like it was in the eighties. OK, so Barry will have his own tape, OK? And on that tape will only be Barry singing, no instruments, nothing. On another tape will be um, the violins, the strings. On another tape will be the piano, and then that is all mixed together, you see? So, my guess is what Barry's done is he's got the audio of the singer only, got that in... Played around with it, sung with it, and that's probably how he's made the albums. I could be wrong, but my guess is uh, that's how he's done it. It's very clever, really, isn't it? Of course, it's not tapes, it's all on computers, but you get the general idea if I explain it like that. So there you are. Order your My Dream Duets album now from pre-order Amazon.co.uk. One-click ordering. All right, boys and girls. Now, let us do... Oh, let's say hello to some people. Good morning to Matt Martins. Nice email coming up from you that you sent in this week. Thank you very much, Matt. Uh, morning, Matt, who says, I uh, hope you're well. I'm very well. I've still got this cough, actually. It's nowhere near as bad as it was. I um, last The week before last, I had a bit of a cold, <coughs> which lasted two days, if that. Only, only a couple of days. But it's... <coughs> <coughs> there it goes. It's left me with a bit of phlegm that is permanently coming up. So I might have a couple of little coughing fits during the show. Don't worry too much, because once you can, you, can, you know you can feel it on your chest. Oh, it's got to come up. <coughs> and it doesn't always come up straight away. So I could be coughing 10, 11 times, and then, and then you know what I mean. I don't want to be too graphical. Not, you might be having breakfast. I don't know what time you get up, you lazy git. I know Terry, Terry, Terry H is with us. He's probably jocks just got up. Oh, Terry says, I'm looking very strange. Aren't you in HD? Is that, is that not working, Terry? I don't know. In what way am I looking strange? Oh, I know what it is. Hang on a minute. I know. I uh, bet that blooming virus thing's doing a scan. Yeah, there's a scan running. Let's stop it. Okay. I've stopped the scan, Terry. I don't know if that's going to make any difference now, though, because it's we've already started the show, if you see what I mean. We might have to just put up with this. Sorry about I Oh, I am looking a bit odd. I want to look a bit yellow. I have often got my liver failure this morning. I'm looking... <laughs> I'm looking yellow this morning. Um, 
I don't think I can do anything about that now, Terry, unless I stop and start again. Do you want me to do that? That's the question. Is it that bad? How is it looking now? Is there any improvement at all? Oh. Let us know, Terry. Terry H, good morning. And Millie's with us. She says, morning, darling. I have a cold too, but I am here. Have you got a cold too, Millie? Oh, it's going around. It's going around. My niece, we'll just wait for Terry to come back to us, actually. Uh, my niece, um... Come on, Terry, come back to me, mate. Is that is that working now? Unless there's a bit of a delay as well. My niece this morning is gone to hospital. Now, last week, her children, that's... Um, do you know what? I am looking a bit old, aren't I? Let me see if I can do something about that colour. It's awful. I look I look like I've got your liver failure on. This is not... Not those of you watching the recording... Um, those of you watching the recording won't notice anything wrong. It's just on the live thing. Oh, let's try that. What's that do? Advanced settings? Is it advanced settings? Oh, yes. There we are. That and that. Try that. Let's see how you go with that. Oh, we've got a call. That's an early call. Good morning, Danny. Good morning, Chris. How oh, are you? Oh, Danny in Wales. Welsh Wales. Good morning. I'm not in Wales anymore. Where are you now? I live in England. Where? Chester. Oh, yeah, she said that the other... Well, it's not far from Wales, though, is it? It's about 30 minutes or so. I hope I hope that you are um, uh, not going to say that you're not Welsh anymore, lovey. I am very Welsh. Thank you. Welsh never, through and through. Never, Cumbria never... Cumbria and beef. Never um, dis, 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 disconnect yourself from where you're from, darling. Cumbria and beef. Cumbria. No. You're no. not from Cumbria. Cumbria. That's the lake, lake district, no. isn't it? No, Cumbria and beef. Okay, which means okay. Wales forever. Wales, Wales, da 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 da. Ah, but anyway, how can we help you this morning, Danny? I just, I, I just thought I'd have to give you a call. It's nice to hear you. I see my niece isn't very well. She's gone to the hospital, dear. Oh dear. Yeah. Well, this week her um her little boy George George, who's one and uh, a half. He was he wasn't well, and then after that that after that her little girl was very wasn't very well. That's uh, Emily, and she's not she's not even one yet. She's still uh, months few months old, so she had to go to the hospital because she got this rash, and she did that test with a glass or something. And they had to push um, it on the rash and measles, is it? Yeah, well, no, she was worried, but apparently not. So she went up the hospital. I think I think generally mums take their babies to hospital when they're really worried. Um, uh -huh. But this morning, she's rung up my sister, and at seven o'clock this morning, crying her eyes out, she said, oh, I need to go to the hospital, can you come and look after the children? So she's, gonna, she's up the hospital, apparently she couldn't open her eyes or anything, so I don't know what's going on up there, dear. Well, I hope all the best is for you. They're all ill. For your family. They're all ill. Well, I just want to complain. Oh, what are you going to complain about today, dear? The fact is, Matt, that... When I look out of my window, it's the building site. Oh. Oh, well. It's where, it's, it's where you live, though, isn't it? They're building one of those things called Waitrose. Oh, how wonderful! Oh, it's worth, worth, the, worth the building works. It's worth the building. It really is. It looks like a pile of rubbish. Well, of course it will. It's a building site, dear. Building site. No, In fact... Honestly... Honestly, you walk. I can listen. At seven o'clock in the morning. All I hear is jackhammers, drills, <laughs> diggers. Yeah. Oh, it'll be worth it. You wait till that lovely building's finished, and you'll be able to swan in there and push your little trolley around with your handheld scanner, making purchases, and the staff are always very nice and all that. It, it's such a nice experience, but it won't be the cheapest place, I'm afraid. I, I don't like Waitrose. Why? Uh, well. Because it's so expensive. Well, yeah, but apart from, I mean, why look at the prices when you're enjoying such a wonderful experience that they provide at Waitrose, dear? The only thing that's good is the free tea and coffee. Oh, you're not one of those. You're not yes. one of those who just goes in for the tea and then comes out without buying nothing. That's terrible, exactly. Danny. That is shocking, mate. Absolutely shocking. 
Well, I'm not gonna. Well, the thing is, if because I'm so close. Yeah. Late night, they do all the bread reductions and etc. etc. I'll be there about seven o'clock in the evening, getting my reductions, getting my cheapos. That's okay. But who That's doesn't? Okay. Who I mean, doesn't go to their local supermarket at seven or eight o'clock in the evening and gets their cheap reductions? You know, darling. As long as you get, if you're having a cup of tea, I, I mean, I would feel obliged to, if you're buying reductions, and that's okay, that's okay. But I, I just don't believe people should go in there, have the free tea, and then come out again. Even when we, me, me and Ron go in there and do some shopping, right? Even when we have the tea, we feel obliged to purchase a very, very small cake. Well, I do like I do like their sandwiches. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they admit, are. Their sandwiches are amazing. They're really well made, aren't they? Oh, they yeah. they're cheese and pickle. You could die for. Yeah, they are. Oh. They are. Cheese and pickle sandwiches, dear. We're talking about Ron. I haven't seen him for a while. Who? I haven't seen Ron for a while. Where is he? Who? Oh, Ronnie. Oh no, he's out and about today. He might actually be listening on his mobile phone, but he's gone into London. Um, to pick up his nephews today. I think they're doing something today. Now, what are they doing? He did tell me. Um, he's take. He's he's having them for for maybe the now. Where are they going today? Because the other time they went to um, was it Legoland? Did they go to oh, Legoland? No, no. Thought Park. They went to Thought Park the other time. Uh, they're going somewhere else today. I can't remember where it was now though. Well, the thing is, with you being so close to London, you could do Thorpe Park, you can do Harry Potter. Have you been to Harry Potter? No, where's that? It's, isn't it in Watford? It's not roller coasters, is it? No, it's a, it's the, um, the studios, Warner Brothers Studios. Oh, I must make a note of this. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Because there's a couple of things I've, I've, I've unfortunately, I don't know, do you watch my Facebook at all? Um, I see it when I'm scrolling through, yes. OK, so I've lost a couple of jobs this week, unfortunately. Um, I'm sure one of my friends was working with you this week. I know who you mean. Who uh, was Miss, it? Miss Penny. Miss Penny, yes, that oh, was Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Marks out of ten, twenty. She's really Ma funny. Let me tell you, boys and girls, Miss Penny is a drag queen. I work at a place called The Two Brewers on, on Thursday nights, and uh, we have shows on there. Generally drag... Actually, always drag queens. I always work with drag queens on, on Thursday at uh, The Two Brewers in Clapham. And um, I, I've only just started w uh, the second time working with a drag act from Miss Penny uh, from Birmingham, very, yes. very, very good indeed. And also a nice person. You know, without naming names, they're not all nice. Right? No, they're not Some all of them nice. are so far up their own asses, it's unbelievable. But she is not. And others are not. Just a couple. She's really, really friendly, good, amazing, funny, can sing. No problems with microphone, yes. nothing. Because, and again, some of them, they don't all know how to use microphones. You know? I and know, some of them are deaf. I know how, I know how you use, to, I know how to use a microphone. Yeah. Here. And some of them are deaf, Danny. Some of them are deaf, and they constantly, oh, turn it up, turn it up. Well, my ears are bloody hurting, it's so loud. You know, because they do go deaf. Isn't it funny? Now, you're a DJ, aren't you? I am, yes. Do you ever get tinnitus? No. You never, ever get tinnitus? Do you know why? Why? I stand behind. You what? I stand behind the speakers. Well, so do I. But my headphones are very loud, and I do get tinnitus sometimes. And if, if I just... Right, yeah. If, if I just be silent for, for a second or two, and then I decide to listen for the tinnitus, I can hear it. Right? But I'm one of the lucky ones. Um, I can ignore it. So although it's constantly in my head... I don't hear it until I think about it, if you see what I mean. I don't get tinnitus at all. Well, you're very lucky, dear. Very lucky. Because the speakers in my in, in in the club I work in yeah. are facing the dance floor. They don't face me. OK, yes. So I don't have direct impact Yeah. from the, from the main speakers. Because there's four speakers. Right. There's two at the front, two at the back. 
Yes. So it's like a confined, so it's like a square, basically. Oh, right, yes, yes. Um, and I'm in the middle. Oh, I well, that, that's hear. protecting your ears then, isn't it? Protecting your ears. So, yeah. Anyway, so I've lost lost a couple of jobs, so I'm, I'm looking at, um, unfortunately, you know, new manager comes in, doesn't like karaoke. Um, one of those things, it happens time and time again, over the longer you, the longer you do it. It'll happen to you one day, I'm afraid. Someone will come in who decides they don't either like you or what you do or something like that or decide to take a different direction and you just accept it and move on, you know, there's nothing you can do about it. But um, I don't feel bad about it at all. I don't really feel any... Um, badness towards anyone you know because one has to remember i've been there five years well they've paid me thousands of pounds in that time thousands of pounds you know well, and karaoke yes karaoke is one of those things where you either love it or you hate yeah, it yeah it's the belushi's that's gone it's the belushi's job that's gone but i'll come i'll come on to that a little bit later on if we've got time but um yeah miss penny yeah oh, what a what an absolute scream she is yeah what a star absolute I, star i've I've worked with her so many times at Birmingham Pride. Yeah. Oh, uh, the amount of the amount of times we've just been backstage and we've been laughing. I've been crying with tears. Right. Laughing because she's come out with this gag and she's practicing to go onto the stage and she's just trying us out. <laughs> and some of the things she's come out with, honestly, I've been crying with laughter. It's just <laughs> been one of those. Honestly, she can sing, she's a good artist, and if she, she'll never fail. No, no, I don't think so as well. She's proper old school, isn't she? Yeah. And you tell her I said that on this programme, Danny. I will. I will mention that uh, you've been mentioned on this programme on the Nike Kingdom Talk. Thank you. And by the way, is there an Audi near you? An Aldi? Yes. yes there is, well, about I, 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 five I, minutes away. I have started doing little bits of shopping there now, because honestly, I mean, as I said to you, I love wait, I love Waitrose, but the prices are substantially different. It's, it's not just a few pennies, you know. And I, I've can got, imagine you, I can imagine you doing the advert. What, for which? For which? You know, you know no, not love that. I like this, but I like this one. I, li I liked them both. You know, you get the, the, the service and the staff talking to you in Waitrose. But the Audi prices, they're so much. I mean, they're enormous. Not cheaper just than Waitrose, but then all the other supermarkets. And they're all suffering, you know. They're all suffering. Like, bl uh, one example, okay, blueber blueberries. Blueberries. Now, I was in uh -huh. Sainsbury's yesterday, just popped in to get a bit of bread, because that's just up the road. Sainsbury's price, £3.50. Aldi's price, £1.60. And generally, I'd say, they got jars of little little tube, uh, uh, squeezy bottles of honey, 49 pence. They're £1.69 in other places. You can't ignore it's it. It's extortionate, isn't it? It's not just a few pennies, though. You know, like, for example, if I was anywhere else other than Aldi, you know, you've got your basket of shopping, you're handing over £25. You know, in Audi, I get a £20 note out of my wallet, hand it over, and they give me £12 back. <laughs> exactly. It's an enormous difference in, in the prices. It really is. I mean, it really well, is. But there is one point we need to make here. What's that? We're not all as rich as you. Oh, come on, I'm not rich. I've just lost two nights. £320 <laughs> a week, dear. <laughs> not rich. <laughs> Not rich. Oh, yeah, that's how, that's how we were getting on to the, um, uh, because I've got a couple of nights on, I'll go right back to your Harry Potter thing now. So I'm looking for a couple of little things to do during the daytime. Now, this, this could, this could work very well, because, as you know, I come in here once a week, uh, for a long show, and Monday to Friday for a short show, and I just talk about things I've been doing, and, even sometimes I, I watch them back and I think, oh, that was a bit mundane today. You're talking about the garden, which you talked about last week and the week before and the week before that. Um, <clears throat> if I go out to little places, I could talk about those. For example, so you've mentioned the Harry Potter thing. I know Ronnie wants to go to a place called Bird World, which oh, is um, uh, quite near us, round here. So there's that. I would like to go to see some museums in London. It's years and years and years and years since I've been to museums. There's the natural history, the science, the...
the um, Victoria and Albert. There's so many places, and they're all free. You don't they're have all to. Free. Yeah, you don't have to pay to go to me. I think they ask for a donation if you want to put one in. And of course, me being me being the kind-hearted soul that I am, I would be happy to make a twenty pence donation into that little box. I mean, you know, I don't think bother. Twenty pence I don't, would be more than your budget. I, I don't expect thanks from anyone. You know, if I can just quietly drop that twenty pence piece in the um in the little box, then 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 I'll be happy with that. Well, I do need to pop a visit to see you, Chris. I do. Because it's a long overdue, isn't it? It is. Well, perhaps you'd like to come to one of my days out here. Yes, we shall have a we shall have a social a gathering. Shall there's, we say. there's so much to do in London. Tower of London. I could just go round Big Ben. Of course, I take my little um, iPhone camera with me and all that. Have you ever been in the dungeons? The London dungeons? No. I went to the one on the other side of the road called the London. The something experience. The London experience, and it was awful. It was, I and mean, it just was dreadful. It wasn't... Because the London Dungeons are opposite the eye. Yes, yes, that's you right. You've got the eye, if, you, if you're looking at the eye... What, the London you've eye? You've got the eye on the left, you've got the London eye on your left. Right. And London Dungeons are on the right-hand side, so they're literally opposite each other. Yes. Um, have they moved? They're in County Hall, is it, or something They're, like that? Yeah, so they've moved, because they used to be uh, round the corner from London Bridge train station. That's where they I'm were. I'm not too but sure. I, but there was a massive queue the day, it was uh, actually my sister and my niece and nephew um, was there as well, and they came, and there was a massive queue there, so we saw the one on the other side of the road, and we thought, well, we'll go there. There was no queue at that one. And, um... And, um, we went over the road, because there was no queue, and it was just dreadful. So, if you're going to go, make sure you go to the London Dungeons. I'm, I should make a note of that. London book, Dungeons. Book in advance. Is book a good in one. advance. I have to be booked in advance as well, Levy. Yeah, book in advance, because if you book in advance, and if you, I take it you've done the eye, obviously you've done the eye. Oh, no, I'm not going on that again, it's too high. Oh, I didn't <laughs> like Although, it. Although, last I night... Off, I, I, I came off green. I drove Honestly. past that last night at about half past eleven, I think it was, and it was still going round, so they must do nighttime ones as well. I'm not quite sure what time. They're... But it's not cheap. It's not cheap. It's about 25 oh, it, quid. It, it Well, me and my partner at the time, we went, we got a ticket. We got the three... What, a parking a ticket? ticket. <laughs> no, we got the three. We got the three thing ticket. We got the right. London Eye. We got the Dungeons, and we had the Madame Two Swords. Oh ticket. yes, yes. The London ticket, I think they call it. Madame Two Swords. I've been in there. Have yeah, you really? It used to be the old planetarium. If you I went to. Ma yeah, that's one of the things we did. This is a couple of years ago. We went to Madame Two Swords as well. Uh, I found it very boring. I got bored. It in is there. very boring. What a waste yeah. of money that was. I mean, you queue for ages and ages in this lovely building, and then you get in, and, I mean, I kind of know, uh, I, I knew it was just waxworks of people, but then when we got, I don't know what I expected, to be honest, and I think that's going to be the same for most people. I got in there, and we're going around these waxworks of Margaret Thatcher and Cristiano Ronaldo and all that, you know, and mm -hmm. within a couple of minutes, I was bored, and I thought, well, is this it? And of course it is. You know, that's it. I, 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 the I time I went, it was, yeah. um, I think it was the time that Will and Kate just got married. Yes. So the Will and Kate was the big attraction. Right, right. At Madame Two Swords at that point. I, I so thought it was boring. was like, with Will and Kate, everyone wanted to get their picture taken. Yes. With Will and Kate and, they, and then we went upstairs to the pop stars and right. Lady Gaga, Madonna, Dunno. Michael Jackson, and yeah. the Queen, and all that kind of mm. stuff. And I got bored. Yeah, I got bored as well. Got, yeah, they've they've got that thing called now Action X. What's that? That's like the horror thing. Okay. It, um, which is like you. I don't know if you've ever been to Alton Towers. No, no, I haven't been to that one. You've never been to Walton Towers? No! I, I don't do, um... 
What are they call that? Do parks. I don't do um, roller coasters really. Is that your phone or mine? That's my phone. Is it okay? That's my phone, right? Anyway, Alton Towers. Basically, go back to Axtex. Basically, yeah. Axtex is a live actors kind of thing where you walk through this kind. Of, I bypassed it because I'm not into horror. I uh, watch horror films. Right, yes. But if anybody comes with me near a knife, I'm gone. Okay. I'm screaming like a, like a girl. Yes, I can imagine but that, it, dear. I can imagine they, that. They, <laughs> well, basically they say if you've got a nervous temp, if they've got, if you've got a nervous disposition, nervous disposition, don't yeah. go in. No. So I thought, no, I'm not going in there. No, you won't get me on that. chase Orton, me with something. That's, uh, that's all it is, Alton Towers. Um, it's, it's, it's roller coasters, isn't it? Yeah, Alton Towers, you know. Do you like roller those coasters. roller coasters? Do you like them? Oh, I love roller coasters. Have you been love... on that really big one in Blackpool? Yes, I've been there many times. Oh, my times. God. Right, I'm going to go now, Danny. Thank you very much. Uh, take care now. Must do my emails. Thank you for calling in. It's been an absolute pleasure, dear. And you, bye-bye. Bye-bye. There we are, Danny in... Chest... Oh, well, Chester. 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 See, it's, it's not too bad. It does stick in my mind now and again. Gonna say good morning to... Oh, by the way, boys and girls, if you're watching... Um, I, I know... If you're watching the show live and you put a comment on the live YouTube thing, I don't actually see those until after the show. OK, the best way if you want to connect with the show is either email while it's live. OK, is either Skype or email. The email address is Chris at United Kingdom Talk dot co dot UK. OK, Chris at United Kingdom Talk dot co dot UK. Or you can Skype. OK, if you've got Skype, my Skype username is Chris Reardon. C-H-R-I-S. R E A R D O N. You can send a message, either of those me me methods. Uh, you can call in as well, again by Skype, Skype username Chris Reardon, or London telephone phone number 020 8133 Okay, London phone number 020 Eight one double three six three five eight. That's how you communicate with the show. If you put a message <coughs> on the YouTube thing, I don't see it until afterwards. I, I don't know how it actually works. Okay, so I've got my Google Hangout thing in front of me here, but I, messages don't come up on it. And then at the end of the show, I seem to see all these messages, and I I, I don't quite know how they've got there. <laughs> oh, you know I can't work this stuff. I've no idea what I'm doing half the time. Or oh, maybe it's on the... Um, hang on a minute, let me just try this. Maybe it's here, is it? Did they, did they come up on your channel or something, do they? If I can have a quick look there... Oh, what do I do? If I click there... Hang on, you turn the sound down quickly. There we are. Any messages? That, that, does that work? Oh, there's no comments anyway. Yeah, don't don't put a message, a comment. Actually, the pictures don't look too bad now to me, Terry. I'm watching myself. Um. Ah, Terry. I wonder if you've still got a bad picture. Refresh it. Refresh your um. The address of the thing, because I think that's sorted itself out now. All right. Um. Good morning to Joyce. Now, where was I going with that? What was I going to do? Oh, morning to Joyce. Uh, Joyce says, good morning, Chris. Mary, Deanna and I are just getting up. Hope you have a great Saturday. I'm not sure what we're going to do, but it's so nice having them here visiting. she has got everyone in the house today, Joyce. They've all come to visit Joyce. This is one of the Manilo girls. And I hope you like my Manilo, Manilo t-shirt this morning. Got to say hello to Jude. Good morning, Jude who sends in a message, busy watching live elsewhere today. Keep up the good work. Did you see the Celebrity Big Brother final? Thoughts, Chris, please. And that's uh, from Warren. No, I, I don't, I, I, I do not, I do, why does it say Jude Warren? Are you Warren or Jude? That's a good question, isn't it? I'm not sure. Um, no, I don't watch um, Big Brother at all, whether the Celebrity one... Or the other one, uh, I've no interest really at all in Big Brother 
or generally any of the um, reality TV shows. I think it's just awful, cheap television. And why uh, why anyone would just want to watch people arguing and, and, and that sort of thing, I, I just don't understand it. So, no, I didn't watch that at all. Um, but thank you very much for the email. Did you enjoy it? You know, it's got to be said, a few thousand people watch it, don't they? You know, so it's, it's, it's doing its job, but it's not for me. Might be an age thing. I think you find a lot of older people um, don't watch that sort of thing. We, we're, we're quite happy to sit there with our boxed sets of Dad's Army and that sort of thing. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Jude Warren. Warren Jude. Uh, Terry says, that's better with a refresh. Ah, oh, there you go. OK, so if you're watching the show live, refresh the page and it should sort out the quality because it's, it's it, we're OK at this end now. Um... Let's have a look there. Okay. Uh, must say good morning to to my friend Ron, who's, who's trying to listen in the car today. Did I mention that earlier? I think he's listening in the car today. How exciting is that? It was probably gone by now. He only manages about ten minutes and he gets bored. But it's the same with if it, don't go out, Don't ever go out with Ron. He gets bored with you in ten minutes. That's true. Now, we've got a, a, a birthday, a couple of birthdays to do, actually. Uh, first of all, a message that was sent in actually last week uh, from Lewis. Hello, Lewis, who says, Hi, Chris. Can I get a shout-out to Linda? It's her birthday on Saturday the 13th, so that's the day. I'll do better than, sh I'll, I'll do better than a shout-out. I will sing for you. I will sing for you. OK? Um, can't love that girl enough. So, especially for Linda... Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Linda, happy birthday to you. Okay, yep, that's from uh, Lewis, who says he loves you very much, how nice is that? There you are, happy birthday to you Linda, whereabouts are you lot then? Do let us know, I don't know where you are. Don't know where you are, how old you are, what you do for a living. We want to know these things. Send in an email, OK? Chris at uh, unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk is my email address. Uh, there's, there's the... Oh, I've read that already, the, um, the uh, thing from uh, Warren. There we are. Thank you. And a uh, nice long email here today from Matthew Martin, who's in... Uh, Martins, who's in Canada... Good morning, Matt. Matt is a regular uh, viewer, listener to the show. Oh, just a minute. Oh, dear. Let me just have a scratch on my back. Oh, there's nothing better than a good scratch back. You know what's good for scratching backs, I found the other night? You know when you're sitting in the armchair and you're watching the television and suddenly you get an itchy back and you look at... Oh, there's nothing to scratch your back with. The remote control. Oh, yes. If you... <laughs> <laughs> if you get your remote control, turn it round so the buttons face towards your back and just gently... Now, don't do it too hard because you, you tell you to start changing channels. You don't want to do that. Just turn the remote control round and just put it down your T-shirt and up and down and... Oh, it's lovely. We do like a good back scratching, don't we? Anyway, Matt is a regular viewer, uh, listener to the show. We get about, how many, about four, I reckon four emails, um, I think I get four emails a, uh, a year from, from our Matt, and we always look forward to reading them. And Matt says, good mo good afternoon, Chris. Matt is in Canada, by the way. Good afternoon, Chris. Hope you're doing very well, sir. Yes, very well. I, I feel a bit knocked back by... The job I lost this week. Now, the job, it has to be said, you know, it was a karaoke night. If, if I had been replaced by someone else doing karaoke, that would have just done me in. But I wasn't. The night itself was cancelled. They don't want karaoke anymore. So I don't, it's, you know, it's not, it's not too bad. And the chap who told me, the new manager, he's as nice as anything. He sounds like a nice bloke. His name's Jamie. And he's now manager of Belushi's in London Bridge. He sounded really nice. He was a DJ with a good old chat on the phone, you know. And the fact is they've decided to do something else, and, and that's fine. What, what, I, what I find strange, Matt, is when you have a busy night, which indeed is what it was. It, 
the, the nights were busy. And I, it, I, I will never be able to, to understand why busy nights are changed just for the sake of change. Because something else needs to be tried. But, you know, that, that's, that's up to whoever decides to do it. Um, it, it just doesn't make sense to me that you've got a busy night and then we'll try something else. Whereas you've probably got quiet nights during the week, why not do it on the quiet nights and leave your busy nights alone? But it's, it's not the first time. Um, there was a place in Earl's Court I worked at for a number of years. I'm going back here about 20 years and the same thing happened. New man came in, decided to change it all. Bye-bye. For no reason. On, on busy, on, 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 in a busy bar. Why would you change something that works? It's like the TV companies, you know, often there's a TV programme that we all love to love and then suddenly it gets taken off. And still lots of people watching it. It's, it's just madness. But there you go, you know, we accept it and um, there's no no badness or anino anos anim animosity. I, I don't feel bad about anyone. I'm just grateful for the work that I had over the years. And you never know, you know, maybe you get asked back at some point, perhaps do special events or things like that, which is rather nice. So, yes, I'm a little bit, um, uh, we use the term gutted, I don't know, a little bit gutted by it, but we move on and we carry on. I'm just looking for things to do Monday and Wednesday. People are saying, oh, are you going to look for somewhere else? Well, yeah, I mean, I, I would look for somewhere else. Um... I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'm kind of half-heartedly looking. And the reason I'm half-heartedly looking is because regular viewers and listeners know that um, uh, I, 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 I'm a landlord as well and I've got a, a few properties and had them since mum died. That's what I did with my mum's money. So it was not, it's not my money. Okay, you understand that. Uh, with my mum's money, my mum, mum, sorry, my mum and dad's money, when they died, I invested it into properties. I always like to point out, and I said this last week, that it's not my, it wasn't my money, it was their money. They are the ones that work for that money. So I didn't feel I could spend it, so I invested it into properties. Now, that was 14 years ago. They've gone up in value, so have the rents. So I am okay. Do you know what I mean? Money-wise, I'm okay. And I'm, I'm kind of half-heartedly looking for replacements for them. Monday and Wednesday, very, very difficult to find those nights. Very, very difficult to fill those nights with something else. And half-heartedly looking, simply because I, 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 I... This will sound mad to you. This will sound mad to you. I do not have the confidence at the moment to walk into a pub or bar and say, Hello, I'm Chris. This is what I do. Would you be interested in any of my nights? How mad is that? Always afraid of being knocked back. I've never sent in any de demos for radio work. Only once, I think once, and they don't even reply. I don't have the confidence. I need, to, you know, if maybe if I had someone behind me who was doing those bits of work for me, you know. So, oh, I've got this bloke here, his name's Chris, he does this, this and this. Um, will you employ him? That's what I need. Funny, isn't it? And yet I'm quite happy, I'm talking to you, I'm not nervous at all, talking to you now. I'm quite happily sit here and chat for ages. To you. I'm not nervous when I'm doing karaoke nights. I, th I think you, you are slightly nervous before you start. And once you get, once it gets going, you know, even like while I'm sitting here, you know, before the show starts at 12 o'clock on a Saturday, I get a little bit nervous. Once you're going, it's okay. But I don't have the confidence to, to go and ask for work. How weird is that? So that's where I am at the moment, uh, Matthew. He says, it's been a few weeks since I wrote, and I felt it was time I let you know that I'm still alive. I have some disturbing news, however. Oh, dear. Please make sure you are firmly planted in your seat. OK, here it is. Winter is almost here. Yes, that lovely time of the year when the water turns into ice and the green grass becomes white snow. Well, at least in part of my world. If you can believe it, there are already places in Canada that have received their first snowfall. 
It sounds like the experts are predicting that the UK will see some nice weather, however. Maybe I should hop on the next plane and take in all the heat. I can over there while it lasts. What do you reckon? Well, it is. I mean, it is quite nice and warm at the moment. None of us have had the heating on, I'm very pleased to say. Because we don't like to put the heating on, do we? We absolutely do not like to put the heating on. Thank you very much. No. No heating. It's warm. It's about... What, are you in Fahrenheit or centigrade there, Mark? I don't know. Um, it's about... At this moment in time, I would say it's about 70 degrees. That's about 18 or 19 centigrade. That's what it is, feels like at the moment now. It's probably a little bit warmer in this room because the computers are running and all the lights and everything. And outside, yeah, it's about 70 degrees outside. It's very pleasant. Even at night. Even at night, I'm, I'm walking to, to and from the car in a T-shirt. In other news, I'm proud to announce that I've now almost been married for a whole year. Oh, we need some bells for that. Just a minute. Bells, bells. Uh, bells, 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 bells. But yet, yeah, here we are. Here we are, here we are. We've almost been married for a whole year! <laughs> Can you believe that? Someone in this world has been willing to spend each and every day with a guy like me. Well, thankfully, my wife, Heather, was up for the challenge on October the 5th last year, and I'm happy to report that things are going well. And it turns out married life is indeed for me. Good. It feels so great to be able to share life with another person. And although it takes some e great efforts to keep things working and positive, I found it can be done. I, I mean, that's such good news. That's such good news. And, 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 and do you know what I miss? I miss being in love. The last time I was in love with someone was... Gosh... About 2000, maybe earlier than that, 2000. Last, I miss being in love with someone. Don't you, anyone else on their own? Don't you miss that? Being in love. You know, sometimes I get lovely messages from the family. Oh, we love you, and all this. No, it's, it's di you know what I mean, it's different, it's different, it's different. I miss being in love with someone. Um, Matthew goes on to say, and it's good that you're in love with someone, Matt. Isn't it the, wonder the, the best feeling in the world? Hmm? Speaking of my wife, Heather, I was hoping that on your Tuesday, September 20... Oh, let me... OK, right, I'll do that for you. I'll just put a circle around that. I shan't read that part of the email. In response to Friday's show regarding a simpler life, do you remember we mentioned on Friday, you know, perhaps would it be nice to have a simpler life without all technology and everything? I want to state that I truly do agree with you and Marge that living a life without all the hustle and bustle would be so much better and I think we would know what living a quality life feels like. I also wanted to confess to you that in September the 1st video I had to rewind several times at 1 minute 41 into the show. It was one of the biggest highlights of the month so far. I owe all viewers to take a look at that show if they're feeling down and it will put a smile on their face. Now, what was that one? September the 1st at 1 minute 41. Hang on, let me look that up for you. Right, so what you would do is go to YouTube. Oh, is that the one where I... Oh, it is, isn't it? It is. I thought it was that one. You naughty man. Do you know that's had over 100 views, that one? That's really good for me. <laughs> Usually the short videos get about 50 to 60 views. That's, that's, that's the sort of average for the, um, uh, if you're into numbers, that's the average for those short shows. Yes, the September the 1st one is, is where I fell off the chair, isn't it? And believe me, that was not rehearsed. I sneezed and kind of leant back and the chair went over. My little legs were in the air. <laughs> so if you want to look up that, go to unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. Um, click on the... Do you know, I don't know how to do this. <laughs> so let me, let me do it while I'm telling you. If you go to unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk, right, 
click on the Union Jack. Oh, the, uh, yes, the Union Jack flag or the Union flag right at the top there. That will bring you to the video page, right? Now, if you just go sort of a little bit down, you'll see United Kingdom Talk video with the most recent one on the left. Go to the one on the right, and next to that you'll see a little arrow. Click next. You might have to click next a couple of times, and you should find uh, United Kingdom Talk Monday, the 1st of September, 2014. All right? Now, why is that there? What, I've got um, BBC Breakfast. What is that doing on my United Kingdom Talk video? I'll, get, I'll have to get rid of that. Uh, just a second, let me just get rid of that, because that shouldn't be there. One moment, please. Um, more. Add to, well, we've already added that there. I don't know how to add to. Oh, uh, yeah, that's gone now. That's better. That should be in my favourites, not that one. All right, so that's how you find that. Um, if you're feeling down, watch that a few times. I also... I'm uh, oh, sorry. That's all from me today. I want to thank you for taking the time to read out my email. And as always, please know you're in my thoughts and prayers each and every day, Chris. And that's from uh, Matt in, New, in, uh, in Canada. Thank you very much, Matt. It's always a great pleasure to receive emails from anyone at all. And I do try and read them all out um, as quickly as possible on the show. Now, I did notice another one just popped in from... Oh, it's Warren. OK. Hello to Warren. He says, it's Warren first. That's Jude Warren. I thought it was Jude, but it's not. It's Warren. I got that the wrong way around. Sorry. It's Warren first and foremost, but always had the confusion to, so used to it from up here in heavy, heavy, heady Liverpool on the Wirral. I love the Liverpool accent. I love the Liverpool accent. Sun is shining, weather is sweet, unusually warm. Happened to stumble across the celebrity Big Brother opener and was hooked, gutted, it's all over. I'm a bit younger than yourself, and the show did feel even younger. Cheers, Chris. Well, thank you very much for that. So it's Warren. Warren up there. Thank you very much for uh, replying to that, boys and girls. Very appreciated. I must read this from young James. James, again, regular viewer to the show, who says, Hi, Chris. I will be tuning in a bit more now. Uh, it's been a bit of a busy time at the moment. OK, well, welcome back. Welcome back. I hope that you're OK. I saw the show where you read out my last email and saw you go flying off your chair just to you reading my email out. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. 1st of September, that was 2014. As for these asteroids that are heading towards us, can't they be gotten rid of by sending atom, atom bombs? Yeah, probably. Yeah, but there'd be no money in that, would there? You know, they, they're they only interested in blowing things up if there's money. Um, you were talking about buying open-top cars, which are hideous to repair. If it's so-called soft-top version, I would avoid it definitely, as fine they are robbers, best friends uh, and vandals too. No, not uh, it's not me buying an open-top car. I don't think I'd have an open-top car. I hope that Ronnie does get to do a show. It would be interesting to watch. And as I eat up, set a few people. Oh, believe me, he would upset a few people. <laughs> I clean this up. I cle while I'm while I'm speaking to you, I'm actually uh, uh, simultaneously cleaning out all swear words and badness. I, or at least I try to. Um, hope that Ronnie Dixon will be interesting. As for putting a notice saying no salesman or religious people knocking on the door, it's a waste of time as they still knock. <laughs> And in this day and age of technology, it couldn't be more easier to get what you want. What on technology? Yeah, it's... Well, it is. You push a button and it's there, don't you? Almost everything, almost everything. On your previous show, you were talking about CB radio. It's a shame the way it went. I, I think on the internet in some way has uh, taken its place uh, from James. So thank you for that, James. Yes, I did have a CB radio. Do you remember? Not last year, the year before. Uh, for my birthday, my best friend Ron bought me uh, a CB radio, which I set up. And I was disappointed, you know, there, there weren't many people on there at all. And, like, you, you, I did talk to a few people, yes, but... Um, I didn't find them 
it was like difficult to get into the group. You understand what I mean? So I was disappointed, and I took the aerial down in the end, and it's stored away somewhere. Uh, I've just got very good news from my sister. Uh, niece Tracy is on her way back home and has a tension headache. I'm not quite sure what that. <coughs> Attention headache. So thank you very much for that, Sharon. Uh, good morning to Stacey this morning, who's with us at all. Telling us all her kids are poorly. And uh, poor Tracy as well. Stacey is my um, niece-in-law. It's all going on, isn't it? All going on. Good morning to Marge, who says, I'm late again. You'll have to start the show from the beginning. No, I'm not starting again, Marge. We've had a busy show today. Loads to talk about. We had... Um, uh, oh, what's his name called in as well? Danny called in as well. I missed the show, Barge. I'm curious of the word pompous. Didn't, didn't come from Ron. I actually have no idea what pompous means. Pompous means, um, <laughs> oh, I could, do you know, I could name a few names pompous. I could name a few names of people who I think are pompous. They are people who are very sure of themselves and think they're right all the time. Right, let me, shall I look it up? Where is my dictionary? One moment. I have down here. One minute. I could, I could type it into Wikipedia. But we have here the Universal Reader's Digest Universal Dictionary, as belonging to my mother. I love... Oh. So let's have a look at pompous. Christ, the in the writing small in these dictionaries. Jesus, I can't see that. It's the black burr. I shall have to put on my special glasses that I purchased from Sainsbury's for only ten pounds. Pompous. P O M. Right. Pip. P O S. P O R. P O O. P O L. Pompous. Here we are. Here we, here we go. Here we go. Pompous people. Characterised by an exaggerated show of dignity or self-importance. Yeah, that's it. So that, there we are. Pompous people are those who think are self... They th they're really self-important. They're very, very important people. Actually, we think they're arseholes. And I could sit here now... I could sit in now and name you a list, a list of people that I think are pompous. Oh, you can't bear them, can you? They're just awful people, and what they're so full of their self-importance. Oh, do you want me to name them? Do you? Do you? No, I'm not going to. Or I could get in some terrible trouble. So there you go, uh, Marge. Pompous are those people that think they are full of self-importance. I don't, I don't think I'm important at all. Not at all. I don't think what I do... That's the weird thing about me. I, I, I actually don't think what I do is important. Anything. Other than... Comfort people who are unhappy sometimes. I think that's an important thing. But as for doing shows and DJing and karaoke and... I don't think they're important things. Funny, isn't it, really? An important thing... What would, it, what would someone important be? Um, a doctor. A nurse. A farmer. A policeman. Um... A teacher, uh, people who look after children, uh, they're, they're all important things. I don't class myself as an important person at all. <coughs> Terry's got to go to the chemist, got a very sore throat. Oh, you poor old soul. Go, that's lemon and honey, dear, lemon and honey. Um, that's what you want, lemon and honey. Uh, Shania says, uh, this will be the last show we'll listen to live for a while as I go back to Music Centre. Oh, Shania? Oh. Sad. Will you be watching the recordings? Hope you'll be able to watch the recordings, shall I? You can still join in. Send us an email after you watch the show. I can read it out for you next week. All right? Um, uh, so Marge says, no, I don't think Ron is pompous then. I, I actually don't think he's pompous either. I think Ron, Ron isn't pompous. He's just mad. <laughs> Anyway, time to go, boys and girls. Thank you very, very much for joining us uh, this morning. It's been an absolute pleasure, as always. Now, don't forget, we do do our little daily short videos, uh, Monday to Friday. You can find those at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. Every day, a little short video. All right? And on Saturdays, live, where you are now, 
You can watch uh, and join in live by Skype and email by, again, going to unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. Click on the large Union flag, the Union Jack, at the top of the page, and that will show you where everything is, OK? And the live show is every Saturday at 12 o'clock midday UK time. You have a nice Saturday. I'll see you soon. Oh, and the email address, and the email address as well, chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. I shall now go and do myself some dinner. See you soon. Bye-bye.